Sup all, JC3 here, the baller of YouTube The General. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on how Nike is taking a different approach to promoting Kevin Durant's 11th signature shoe, the KD-11. They've decided to go with the summer release instead of the usual release during the NBA season, and I'll tell you how they're approaching the marketing aspect. As always, make sure to check out my past couple of videos, one on the DeRozan Leonard trade and the other on Kevin Durant as well. Make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video and your feedback in the comments down below. I really want to hear what you have to think about what Nike is doing here. Right after the premiere commercial for the KD-9, Durant joined the Warriors in free agency. Now, not only did this hurt his reputation on the basketball court in the eyes of fans for a while, but it further hurt his shoe sales. It was reported in June of 2017 that Durant's shoe sales had dropped off over the past two years, which would have extended Durant, back to his last season in OKC. Either way, going to Golden State certainly didn't help his shoe sales nationwide because, well, the Warriors are the common enemy of every team in the league. And with Nike's release of the KD-10 last May, which looked very similar to the KD-9, the KD-11 needed to be something fresh and new. Not only is the shoe built differently with new technologies, the marketing behind it is different as well. Normally, Brand name athletes will have their signature shoes drop at the beginning of the season, on All-Star Weekend, or during the playoffs so the brand can have the most eyes on the product every night. Durant was supposed to break out the KD-11 during the Western Conference Finals from his own admission, but for some reason, unbeknownst to us, it didn't happen. Durant stuck with the KD-10 what the for the duration of the West Finals and NBA Finals, forever immortalizing that shoe in history. Now KD has embarked on a cross-country tour, taking a hands-on approach to marketing his new shoe. Prior to the cross-country tour, which saw Durant stop at the girls and boys EYBL tournaments, Nike HQ and Dykeman in New York, and finishing off in Las Vegas for US men's basketball camp. He made stops in Guangzhou, Manila, and Taipei, handing out free merch the whole way. Nike has also been releasing articles in their app about Durant. One of Durant's famous quotes is, hard work beats talent when talent fails to work hard, and Nike is capitalizing on portraying Durant's off-season work ethic in his new shoe. Their black and white theme captures Durant practicing and talking about how he is keeping the game fresh by implementing new drills within his workouts. Durant admits that with the regular season and playoff grind, he works smarter, not harder, and his game has evolved from a place of trying to dunk on everyone to instead pulling up for mid-range jump and picking his spots to be efficient on the court. Nike also put together a segment where Durant talks about his favorite KDs from his 11 seasons in the NBA. It showed how his sneakers have evolved over time and how his current shoe is engineered for this time in his career. Whether it is meant to work out this way or not, I think it's a great approach for marketing the KD-11. Nike should do everything they can to disassociate Durant's shoe with the Warriors if they want to increase sales. Putting this shoe in this kind of light, a summer release at a time when no professional basketball is being played, can only fit the image of a few players and Durant is one of them. He doesn't demand the spotlight as a personality. You can always catch him in a gym working on his craft. Durant's visit to Dykeman was a great move as well as the overall build of the shoe is perfect for the outdoor courts and he will forever be associated with New York street ball. Remember he dropped 66 at the Rucker in August 2011. Nike made a solid shoe with a fly knit upper, full length zoom and react cushioning midsole setup and a durable outsole. They've also done a solid job marketing wise and have captured the image of a hardworking athlete who needs their shoe to be right there with them in the gym. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Was Nike smart to release the KD-11 over the summer? And are you buying a pair? Remember to subscribe, like, leave your feedback in the comments down below. We'll be back with more Topic Tackle soon. JC3, out.